Oh, it has been a long time coming, but it feels so good. Arsenal finally breaking the streak of no wins away to the top six that has been going on for five years. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm not a type of brother to play with. See a lot of people acting like, a, oh, yeah. Old ball players sounding like haters. We the young kings of this generation, oh, yeah. What's up, y'all? Welcome back. Pitch side with Parker. Another Arsenal review. A huge game this one is. I mean, look, I know that a lot of y'all who watch, there's a lot of Manchester United fans that I'm friends with who watch these videos. Um, been talking to y'all back and forth on Twitter all day, of course. Um, it's, just, it's a big game. It's always been a big game for Arsenal. It's one of the ones that you get up for most in the season. So much to talk about in this game. First of all, the penalty, I think for me, was clear cut. Um... Pogba with just a terrible mistake and it's a shame because he actually played a pretty good game but um Bellerin draws the penalty Aubameyang tucks it away back on the score sheet which is really big for Aubameyang it had been five Premier League games since he scored hadn't actually soared since he signed his contract so that should get some people off his back but yes tucked away by Aubameyang one no win for Arsenal Arsenal had the better chances in the game for sure um they should have scored a few in the first half and then there was kind of a predictable drop-off from Arsenal, which really gets on my nerves as a fan because it feels like every time Arsenal comes out and starts a game well, they lose interest if they don't score. And it's something that I recognized last year. It's continued this year. And to me, it's more the players than anything because it's happened since the time of Arsene Wenger, really. It happened under Emery a lot. It's happened still under Arteta. Some great performances across the pitch. I have to say Thomas Partey, for me is the man of the match. Um, there were a lot of good performances, but to me, he, he dominated. And this is what Arsenal have really been missing in the big games. To me, that is what took Arsenal over the line today. He regained the ball so many times, some great interceptions. And there were a lot of times where the way that Manchester United plays, every player from their midfield to their front line always tries to play that killer pass. And more times than not, Partey, even Gabriel, and Holding as well, they were reading those passes, they were cutting them out, thought El Nenny was great next to him. As I said, Gabriel, to me, would be the other shout for player of the game. To me, he has been the best signing in the Premier League all summer. Um, you could maybe argue James Rodriguez since he came on a free, but I think for $23 million, Gabriel has been immense for Arsenal. He's been the best player so far throughout the season, the most consistent player, I would say, as well. Um, and he just he's ready for it. He's up for it. He played great every time he was matched up one-on-one -on -one with the likes of Rashford and Greenwood. He doesn't get sold. You know, he, he stays on his feet. He stays strong. He's really good at coming up and pressuring the ball. Um, he's great in the air, and he's just sturdy. I really, really like Gabriel, and he's brought a lot of solidity to Arsenal. I still worry about the front line a little bit. I still would have really preferred to see Aubameyang playing through the middle, and I still think that if Arsenal is going to move forward, that's a move that Arteta needs to make because, again, for me today, I thought Lacazette played better, but I still don't think he was good enough. There were definitely a few chances in the first half where crosses came in and Aubameyang wasn't in the middle. That's something I've harped on before, but I will keep saying as long as he's playing out wide. Like, he needs to be the guy in the middle because Lacazette's runs and movement and quickness just aren't good enough to get him in those scoring positions. I really don't think United played like a terrible game really, but it just didn't match up well with Arsenal. And that's what I would question a little bit from Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is that why would you play a diamond midfield when Arsenal's strength is clearly the wings? You know, playing such a narrow four in midfield will give all the space out wide to Arsenal. And if you look at the way the penalty was conceded, that's kind of how it went. Bellerin was coming from the right side and Pogba as the left-sided midfielder in that diamond essentially is the person tasked with defending him. It's up to Shaw and Pogba. And in that situation, it was Pogba, and he made a bad tackle on Bellerin. So I think that's how you could see how that formation played out for Solskjaer. And it seemed like before the game, United fans were excited to see the diamond. But I do think that against Arsenal, it was a bit of a mismatch. It might work for them in other games, but and it might work for them if Martial is in. Obviously, he was missed a lot today. And it's just another ring of inconsistency for United as well. Like, you go out and beat PSG in Europe. You go out and smash RB Leipzig. And maybe Leipzig just weren't as good as we thought, but those are two very impressive wins. You got a draw against Chelsea in the league. That was an ugly game, obviously, but still at least get a result. And then you lose at home to Arsenal. 
a team that you haven't lost to at home since 2006. I mean, that has to raise some questions for United. Huge day for Arsenal, a game that broke a lot of demons and really dispelled some of the bad patches that Arsenal has had, and hopefully that is a sign of good things to come. But that being said, it wasn't a great performance, and I don't want to get too excited, you know, outside of just breaking all those streaks. It did look pretty similar to some of the recent games for Arsenal, and I would like to see more. I still would like to see Aubameyang through the middle, but... Look, at the end of the day, we got to be happy with how it went today. So thank you so much to all the Arsenal fans who've tuned in. You guys really keep the support going on these videos, and I appreciate it. Smash the like button. Um, it means a lot to me. And, you know, shout out to all my United fans out there as well. You held the L today, but, you know, it is what it is. It happens sometimes. Um, and last thing I want to say as well, those of you who've made it this far in the video, be sure to follow me on Twitter because if you had followed me on Twitter before this game, you could have known exactly what was going to happen because I tweeted, score prediction, 1-0 to Arsenal, a bomb yang to score. I tweeted it was going to be a very boring game, and, you know, it, it came right, I have to say. So, you know, follow me on Twitter. There's always banter during the games. Uh, it's a great way to stay connected when I'm not making videos as well because I tweet a lot on there. So definitely do that if you haven't already. The link will be in the description. Um, and, yeah, thanks for watching the video. I'll catch you on the next one. More videos, of course, coming tomorrow throughout the beginning of the week. Peace.